Even app. The Even app allows workers to get paid early. It allows you to receive 50% of your paycheck early. Okay, so I'm going to go over the basics of the Even app. I believe currently it's free for Walmart associates. So that's a plus. It's a benefit for working at Walmart. And it allows you to receive 50% of the amount of money that you've made for that for the time that you've worked so far. Okay, and I'm going to just go over the basic items that some people might miss. First, I want to say a lot of people, they wonder if the Even app is a good app and if it's a useful app. The Even app just allows you to have extra money in times of need. You don't really have to use the Even app, but if you need some extra money and you're just working and you need a few extra dollars, then you can choose the amount that you want. I see a lot of people are complaining about it's taken away from your paycheck. You are actually in control of the amounts that you take out with the Even app. So don't blame the app. You can you can adjust it to make it easier for your life or whatever. And also, another thing is, by you having a reduced check, some loan companies might not give you a loan because the deposits won't appear as a full check. So that's something that you might want to consider if you're also consider considering getting a loan from somewhere else. So that's one of the problems I incurred. But other than that, the Even app is great. You can save, you can budget. Let's see what it says on here. It says get paid early, save automatically, your pay, your way. It says get paid early. Request up to 50% of your next paycheck early and you can receive funds in seconds. Say goodbye to gotcha fees and hidden interest. Say hello to Instapay. I wouldn't say in seconds. I would say in a few hours or the same day. Or if you go to Money Center at Walmart, you can request an in-store Instapay at the Walmart Money Center and you get the item the same day. You just wait in the line. You go up to the cashier and you show her the barcode. You're just going to need a form of identification to ensure that it's really you. And it's a simple process. But today I wanted to talk about something else with the Instapay. You can save automatically. You can set it to 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. You can budget. You can put all your bills on there. And they'll let you know when your bills are coming up. They'll let you know the balance in your account. And it's a pretty good app. I like it. I really, really like it. I keep talking about it. So I like it. And it can also project your earnings so that you can see what your earnings will be for the week. Okay, so now let's look at... Okay, so let's look at the breakdown Let's say that you've been a worker for a long time and basically you get paid every 14 days. So let's do the breakdown. So on this calendar, the first 14 days is the pay period, just in this scenario. So in this situation, the person is receiving their money, their paycheck on Thursday, January the 5th. And so they will receive their money on their paycheck, whatever they had left from the previous year. But let's not worry about that. They receive their paycheck. The next day or any day before that, they can request they can request to receive an Instapay. And they have to do that Instapay before the cutoff time on Friday. Unless they do it inside the store. You can do it inside the store anytime before the money center closes on Friday. And the next time, if they want to direct, if they want their money to be sent directly to their bank account, then Friday is the cutoff date. You can go in there on Saturday in this scenario because from the 1st to the 14th is when you can get an Instapay. So if you work between Sunday and and Friday, if you work that week and you never get an Instapay, you can wait Friday and you can go in Walmart on Saturday and get an Instapay. You can get your earnings, 50% of the earnings you've earned for that week if you want to. You can go in there on Sunday if you want and get it. But remember, you can only have one manual Instapay per week. So you get one paycheck every two weeks, one auto Instapay every two weeks, and one manual Instapay every week. So let's look at this scenario. On Thursday and then the next day I got an insta pay for 50% of the amount of money I worked for that week. The paycheck, the paychecks is always from the previous two weeks. And so on Friday I got an insta pay, I got 50% of my earnings. I could do Friday or I could do Saturday. But if I do Saturday, that means I would have missed the entire week and never got an insta pay. But the amount will be large on Sunday. Because if I work on Friday, that amount goes into it. Okay, so now let's look at the eight to the 14th. On the 12th, I get an auto Instapay. Let's say I got an Instapay on Friday and I worked all the way up until Thursday. All of the money I've earned will automatically go into this auto Instapay and automatically go to my bank account. Whatever bank account I have it scheduled to go into and whatever percentage. If I set it to 5%, I'm going to get 5% on the auto day. If I set it to 10%, I'm going to get 10% of whatever amount is left on the auto day. I could get up to 50% of however much I earn on the auto, auto <clears throat> on the automatic Instapay. And then if I work on Thursday and I want to get paid again, I can request an Instapay on the 13th because that's my manual Instapay for the week. I can actually do a manual Instapay between Saturday, 
pretty much any day I want. But the auto Instapay, the auto Instapay just automatically does it for you. So if you forget to take Instapay, it'll automatically send the money to your account. So all you have to do is focus on is working, getting to work on time, getting the job done and working, and your money is just going to be in your account in the evening time on Thursday. And so you can't do a cash pickup for that item because it's automatically going to your bank account. You can request an auto Instapay, and you can request an Instapay on that Wednesday. And if you work on that Wednesday, whatever you made on that Wednesday would go into the auto Instapay on Thursday, but it's going to be a low amount because once you take away from Instapay, it goes down back to zero. So let's say on January, let's say I made $50. No, let's say I made $100 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's five days. So I made $100. So I, that means if I try to request an Instapay on Friday, I can request $250. If I don't request it, I can let that Instapay roll over to the next week. And so let's say I work Saturday. That's just another 100 Sunday, another 100 So that's six, seven. So now I probably... On Monday, I can request an Instapay, and that'll be about $350 if I get the 50%. If I don't, that's cool. Okay, so, and then I can just let it all keep building up until it gets to the auto Instapay, and then all that money goes directly to my bank account. So it's just like getting an advance on your money early. And so my thing is, what I try to do is probably I will get uh, my paycheck on the 5th, a manual one on the 6th, because that would actually be the first manual Instapay for the week. Then I would get the auto, I would let everything else just build up and then get an auto Instapay on the 12th. And then if I needed some extra funds for the weekend, I would get it on the 13th. The 14th is actually a new week in this scenario because I believe Walmart paycheck pay days start on Saturday. So in this scenario, you can't even see, well, in this scenario, the first day for the pay period was actually on the 31st. And so in this scenario, if, if Walmart's pay period starts on Saturday, you have to take that into consideration now. So that means on the 14th, I can't get an Instapay because it's the first day. And you can't get an Instapay on the first day of, of the work schedule, of the new work schedule. And so bam, from the 14th all the way through, the 19th, I get my paycheck. The 20th, I work some more. And then on the 21st, on that Saturday, which would be the beginning of the second week of that pay period, I would probably go to Walmart and try to get an Instapay. If not, I just let it all roll over into the auto Instapay. So every day you get money, get money, get money, get money. And then on the 27th, I would get paid for working on Thursday. If I work Thursday, and I can request my last Instapay for the week, which would be a few bucks. And then that this is the end of the week, the 27th. So now we move on to the 28th. That's a new week. And so the process starts all over. Saturday all the way through, I get my paycheck on Thursday. And then I request the Instapay on Friday. And so if that's $100 a day, 100 200 300 400 500 600 and so if i request it on friday i can get 300 dollars plus i would already have got my paycheck on thursday and that makes it even better so that's a good thing <clears throat> and also believe walmart now takes time as well so that's something to consider um this is probably just the first video probably gonna make some more later on but you know if you're given the opportunity to do the right thing and you're given the tool to do the right thing and you should do the right thing that can change the outcome so much has happened in the world you know, people passing away in my family, um, got injured at work, so much happening. Um, but you just got to be strong. And I believe in you. I believe you can do whatever you set your mind to. Every year is an opportunity for us to be better and great. And just go after your goals. And I'm really hoping that everybody succeeds. I want to see everybody win. I know y'all want to see me when I want to see y'all win too. So let's win together. We are one. We are a team. We are Walmart. Don't forget to even out your life, find time for you, your family, and your loved ones. But also, make sure you find time for yourself because you are important and never forget that. Even out your life. Find balance.